tengok kepada types of polymer. So, as you know, before kita ada two types of polymer iaitu natural polymer dan juga synthetic polymer. Okay, natural polymer ni founds naturally. It can be found in human body, in animal, in plant. Okay, meanwhile untuk synthetic polymer, it must be prepared chemi chemically in the lab or in industrial. Okay, and monomers uh, untuk synthetic polymer must have gone through polymerization process. Okay, contoh natural polymer banyak. Okay, for example, in biology, you have learned about carbohydrates. Okay, kita juga ada rubbers. Okay, polyisoprene. Okay, uh, kita ada protein. Okay, and then nucleic acid dan juga uh, cellulose which is polysaccharide. Example untuk natural polymers. Okay, meanwhile untuk synthetic polymers, for example, kita ada nylon and kita ada dacron. Natural polymers. Basically, natural polymers uh, adalah satu extremely large molecules yang occur naturally and can be found naturally in either human body, animals, ataupun in plant. Okay, so all living organisms are primarily made up of polymeric material. For example, our fingernail, our hair, and most part of our body is made up of these polymeric materials. Okay, for example, uh, protein is a polymer that is built up from amino acids. We have carbohydrate, a natural polymer that is built from monosaccharides. And we also have a natural rubber that is uh, built from uh, the monomers that we call as isoprene. Okay, so protein is the example of natural polymer di mana protein adalah dibina daripada monomers which is amino acid and this amino acids link together by an amide bond also known as peptide bond through condensation polymerization. Okay, so another example of natural polymer adalah carbohydrates. Okay, monomer untuk carbohydrates is monosaccharide. We call that as monosaccharide. For example, kita ada glucose that can be found in blood. Okay, we have galactose from the milk and also we have fructose that can be found in plants. Okay, so here an example of the uh, monomer. Okay, this is glucose. This is the structure of galactose and this is the structure of fructose. Okay, and the other example of natural polymer adalah carbohydrates. Okay, so polymer of carbohydrates is called as polysaccharide. And the example of polys, uh, sorry, the example of carbohydrates adalah starch, cellulose, and glycogen. Okay, and another exa important example of natural polymer adalah natural rubber. Okay, and the monomers for natural rubber is known as isoprene, where the IUPAC nomenclature for isoprene adalah 2 metal 13 butadiene and the structure of 2 metal butadiene uh, sorry 2 metal 13 butadiene is shown as uh, below okay so the isoprene okay or 2 metal 13 butadiene can either exist as a cis polyisoprene ataupun trans polyisoprene and these two uh, structures have different physical properties okay for example you can see cis isomer is much more elastic compared to uh, trans isomer so trans isomer is hard and less elastic okay and natural rubber ini exists in the form of cis polyisoprene okay it is soft sticky but perishable which makes it less useful okay so natural rubber uh, has a properties that is not very uh, hard, okay, and to make it hard and more useful, okay, rubber has to undergo a, vul a vulcanization process, okay, so in vulcanization process, a long linear chain of polyisoprene are uh, being cross-linked together by sulfur atoms, okay, and after uh, vulcanization process, then the rubber will become more stable over a wide range of temperature and akan jadi far more durable than the natural rubber itself. Okay, and uh, the next slide will shows how the chemical reaction for the vulcaniz uh, vulcanization process. Okay, so here are the chemical equation that shows the uh, vulcanization process of natural rubber.